question from Superhuman Fitness, and he sends in his question in the YouTube community page. And by the way, guys, if you want to ask a question, that's typically one of the best places, the YouTube community page, or uh, send me a message uh, through email on my website at jujitsu.net, or if you're a part of my newsletter, reply to one of my emails. I usually get, honestly, if you want to send me a question, that's probably the best way to do it, because I reply to my um, messages from my newsletter more often than anything else. Um, but getting back to the question, he says, what would you say the difference is when comparing the skill gap between between white to blue belt versus a brown to black belt. So what's the skill gap difference there? What's the difference between those, those jumps? So brother, thank you for the question. So when you were sending your question, I thought about the analogy that I heard my buddy Tim Sled use years ago, which is jujitsu is like language, right? Think about reading and writing. In the beginning, you gotta learn your ABCs, right? The basic letters of your language. Then eventually you learn words. After you learn words, you have context and you understand how to put them together into sentences. And then eventually you can write whole pages and books and then you know you get off into the weeds there, right? Well, jujitsu is kind of like that, kind of a language of the body. And to me, probably one of the biggest shifts in jujitsu I would probably, I, I, I'll talk about why it's maybe not the biggest, but it's kind of equal. But it's one of the biggest is white to blue belt to me is one of the biggest shifts in jiu-jitsu because you're going from a situation where you don't even know the language, even if you think you know the language, you don't. And then all of a sudden by blue belt, you have a foundation in that language. So here's what I mean. When I first started jiu-jitsu, I thought, I knew jiu-jitsu, I watched lots of videos, I wrestled, I knew grappling, and I watched all kinds of videos, and I thought, I told my coach this through AWOL Instant Messenger back in the day, I said, you know what man, I'm gonna be a blue belt. I think I'm, I'm blue belt level already. He laughed. I came into the gym and I got smashed by everyone, realized I had no clue what I was doing. And so I had to learn the language. By the time I was a blue belt, I kind of had a nice nice foundation under me and kind of had knew what I was doing and I was more able to effectively take in more information. And so that's a big shift from knowing nothing to now being able to have a foundation under you and then more effectively take in information, right? That's a big shift to me. Because once you're at blue belt, you got at least a basic foundation where you can try things out. Now, going from brown to black belt, brown belt to me, if I wanted to give it the belt, you guys that watch my videos might know my sort of philosophy, and like the blue belt's the buffet belt, the, proto, uh, the purple belt's the prototype. Well, to me, brown belt's the polisher, right? Brown belt is to the point where you're just tweaking things. Because for me, when I think about my game and most people's game, when my game was at sort of like late purple, brown belt, moving into black belt, early black belt, relative to now, that was about the same. It was about the same game. It just got better, a little bit tighter. Two inches adjusted here, adjust the grip here, little bits and things like that that made a big difference. And to me, again, going back to the language idea, it's like you've already written the book, the book's basically there, and now we're going in, we're refining word choices, right? We're changing some of the words up to make the sentences tighter, to make the, the story pop a little bit. Maybe if you were thinking about a sculptor or someone, let's think of a woodworker, right? Someone that's working with wood, they have the basic idea of what that thing is gonna be, and if you look at it, you could kind of tell, now we're just sanding, right? We're just making it and making it a little bit smoother. And to me, that's the big difference between um, brown to black, but you're just tightening things up a little bit more. And then what I was talking about earlier about big shifts, to me, probably one of the biggest shifts that I, I've ever had was after black belt. Because then once you're at black belt, there's this whole other thing out there. And I don't want to get into it right now because that's not what we're talking about in this video, but there's a whole other shift that's to me just as big as the first one that you have after black belt. But we'll save that for, for another video if you guys are interested but otherwise going back to your question white to blue belt you know nothing you don't know the language now you have the ability to to communicate with people right through this thing you have the basic foundation of jiu-jitsu under you which now allows you to go out take in information try new stuff because you get that foundation under you brown to black you've got a solid game already now you're just tweaking it. You're getting those little details that are gonna make the biggest difference because to me, a lot of times, as you get more and more experience, those little details, those are the things that make the biggest difference in your game because you're not gonna do a complete overhaul like you did when you were newer. So, um, Superhuman Fitness, hope that helps you with your uh, question. And guys, I'll talk to you next time.